just tell them to tell them to fuck off. Yeah, the Chicago area was Q101 was the radio station for alternative rock. Q101. What, we got a caller on the line. Very exciting caller. Welcome to Explorations. My name is Leslie. What is something that I can call you? Oh, you can call me Barry. Hold on one second. I can barely hear you. Testing. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you better now. Excellent. My name is Baron. You could call me Baron. You know, like Baron. Baron. Trump. B- Baron? Am I saying it right? Yeah, Baron? Yeah, yeah, Baron. Like Baron Trump, you know, <laughs> like Baron. That kind of Baron. <laughs> Are you Baron Trump? Um, I plead the fifth. <laughs> It'd be crazy if Baron Trump sounded like you. I've never heard Baron Trump's voice in my life, but that's not the. I would not. I would not match those two things if someone just played. If someone was testing me somehow, uh, Baron. Uh, but then again, you wouldn't know, huh? But then again, you wouldn't know if this is the Baron Trump how he sounds because you've never heard Baron Trump speak. Ah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I, there's no way for me to know. Okay. What can I do to prove that I am Baron Trump? If I was Baron Trump, you know. Uh, I don't know. I don't even remember what. I just know he was like into. The only thing you know about him is that he's tall as fuck, and then he likes like Naruto, right? Doesn't he like anime? Oh yeah, he does. He does love anime. He loves that Naruto. He loves that uh, Nana. He loves that Elf and Lee. Yeah, it was actually it was. Kitty. It was sweet to see. He's like into all the autistic online stuff. It was very like I loved. To see, I, it was like, oh, I relate to you. And he he's a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog too. I heard. Mm. So, That'd be awesome if he started writing letters to Christine Chan in prison, huh? Well, maybe yes, maybe so. Maybe Christine Chan knows way more than the average person. Maybe Christine Chan was framed. Ah. I would now see that honestly wouldn't. I don't think that's the craziest conspiracy theory. People have had it out for Christine Chan since, 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 since the first video posted. Yes, I remember that video. The whole. Uh, the message to the teenage boys and girls when he was caressing the My Little Ponies and telling teenage boys, you know, you get a My Little Pony, you caress it, that's how you get to know a teenage girl. And teenage girls had to get some Transformers and play with those. And uh, <laughs> tobacco, tobacco is icky, and he would have shot it to the moon. Man, I have... <laughs> that's awesome. I've never, I've honestly never seen his first video. Or their, her, or whatever first video. Uh, well, you know what? You should be thankful to the universe. Namaste, by the way. I forgot to say that. I'm sorry. But you should oh, be thankful. Oh, namaste to you. It's okay. Kayaker, thank you so much for that sub. Welcome. Well, I mean, it's great. I mean, nine months welcome, but you know where you are, and you're always welcome here. Namaste to you. It's great to see your name pop up in the chat. Uh, now, listen, this is, you're awesome, Baron. You're, you're like a shoe. You're, you're, you're fitting in here like a, like a hand in a, in a, in a glove, a very, like a satin evening glove. And it, it has a fantastic smooth energy to it. And namaste to you for that. Um, now, I, 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 I don't mean to cut you off of what we were talking about before, but I must, I must pick your mind as far as tonight's theme. Is that all right with you? Oh, sure. No problem. Okay, well, listen, tonight's theme, as you may have seen flash on the screen a couple times, is sleeping outside or in a car. Now, do you personally have any experience with this? I've, I have actually experienced with both sleeping in the car and sleeping outside. And I can mm-hmm. tell you one thing. What would you tell me? Sleeping outside under a car. That's an unparalleled experience. Now you've slept underneath a car. Yes, sir. Whoa! Now tell, t- take us inside that experience. What got you underneath a car to sleep there, Baron? Oh, well, primarily for the warmth. But um, 
I also needed to hitch a ride, but you know, in these days and age, you cannot just go up all willy-nilly to someone and ask for a ride. The hitchhiking days of the 70s are over. And you know, Ubers are too expensive. So I would latch myself underneath the the axi, um, what you call it, the chassis of the car, and I would get a free ride like that. But I hope, my, my only worry is that, you know, speed bumps, those, those really hurt. Now, how much do they hurt? R- one to ten. Oh, um, have you ever se- have you ever seen the movie Spinal Tap? Uh, yes, but I don't remember anything about it. If I'm being honest. Well, um, there's a on the app. It says one to ten to eleven, and it's a it's it's eleven out of ten. Eleven. Ooh. Yes. This is just. I would imagine it knocks the wind right out of you. It knocks the wind right, and it, 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 it's really it's really bad because when it knocks the wind right out of you while you're going down like a highway, maybe like a highway of like maybe sure, uh, yeah, 50, yeah, it, and then you just drop and then you just go flailing around the the highway and it, it's it's not a pleasant feeling. Is it worth it though? Now, if you could go back and to a younger Baron and talk to Baron and say, Baron. Listen, I must warn you that this is going to redefine the uh, the extremities of pain that you've experienced so far in your life. Now, would you tell this young Baron to not do that? Or would you say, young, young Baron, spread your wings and just know that you're going to get your ass fucking handed to you on the bottom of a car like that? Well, the thing is, I look at life like this. Like, if you ever seen the movie Goodfellas, when Henry Hill, Ray Liotta's character, he says, you know what, everyone takes a beating at least a few times in their life. I, I like to approach life like that. So I would tell myself to spread those fucking wings and fly, and then you go hurtling down to the ground, crashing, or maybe flailing about in the highway at 70 miles an hour, break every bone in your body, and do it all over again once you get out of the hospital. But it's worth it. It saves a lot of money, and it's it's an unparalleled experience. I suggest uh, a lot of people do it more often. I'm not I'm not one to say to be an influence of such, but you know what? Well, try it for yourself and see how it is. You know. You know, it's a honestly. Can, I'm going to be honest with you. If I'm going to be if I if I'm going to be honest with you right now, Baron, it is an absolute uh, breath of fresh air to hear you speak about this experience. Um, I, what I what I feel right now, what I feel is that um, is, is I've heard a lot of naysayers call call up explorations. Justin Rubius, welcome to the chat. It's great to see you in the chat. Namaste to you. Welcome to the community. Uh, now, what I was saying just now to return to my thought was that I've had a lot of na- negative na- na- negative Nathans and Nancys call up and tell me tell me. That sleeping outside or sleeping in a car is actually bad. But when I hear you call up that not only have you slept in and outside of a car, but that you've latched yourself to the bottom of a car to save dozens of dollars, and you've and, and, and this practice has redefined how extreme pain can be, the extremities of physical pain, it redefined it for you. And, and still, this positive mental attitude, this PMA, is indomitable. It is a breath of fresh air to, to hear you speak about this with, su- with, with, with such hope. I mean, to those naysayers, I'm, you know what? There's an old saying that says, don't knock it before you try it. And definitely do not knock it before you try it. And get knocked over again, you know, because, you know, speed bumps, latching yourself underneath the chassis <laughs> yeah. of the vehicle perhaps a truck a 16 wheeler a tractor or uh but you know i prefer to latch myself underneath uh, an suv because it's more spacious even a pickup truck because you know you get the road rash literally but you know don't knock it before you try it that's all i have to say i mean just just you know if, if you have a negative mindset about pretty much anything in life, then you're going to have a bad time, most likely. And that's what the universe is. Like attracts like. So if you are negative about something, like in this case, 
sleeping outside or in a car, or in my case, sleeping under a car and latching myself miles and miles across state lines, even underneath the chassis of man's greatest modern day invention, then it's going to be a negative experience, but you have to be positive. And that's what it's all about. And, and it's redefined everything, even my back. It's redefined the, my spine, everything. It, it's just unparalleled. It, it's just wonderful. Listen, I don't even want, listen, Baron, what you just did was, I can imagine, you, you've changed my, my entire relationship with, with travel, undoubtedly. Now, and, and I'm, all, I'm excited to continually feel the, the consequences and repercussions of not only, not only your, 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 your manner of speaking is very, is, is very, is very direct, but also very uh, illustrative. It's very, a very beautiful way of speaking. But, but your message overall, I think, is really special. And, I, and you know what I don't want to do is I don't, I want to let the seeds that you just planted into our moist soil. I would like to allow the seeds that you planted to germinate. So listen, I, I don't mean to cut you off. I could speak to you all night, but tell me if you if you just put a you know if I gave you another like 15 seconds to people who are scared, they hear about the idea of especially the children. There's a lot of children that watch this program, and what what would they in and I'm sure there are many children thinking. If I can just take my dad's belt or my mom's belt and I can latch myself to the bottom of a car and I could go very fast and that'd be exciting, but they're afraid. Now, what kind of message of, of courage would you give to the children who, you know, are hearing you speak so positively about this, but they're just a little nervous to get started? Well, I forget which president of the United States said this, but it's the, the the word fear you could break it down it's an acronym a false evidence appearing real so if you have the fear of doing such things such as just sleeping underneath the car sleeping outside or like what i do as well is just hitching a ride underneath the car you know and that it's environmentally friendly too i leave less of a carbon footprint but if you have that fear that false evidence that appears to be real then it's just gonna hold you back in life. And until you conquer that fear, until you take that, those words and you break them down, you break that acronym down, you take false, take that out of the equation, evidence, you leave the evidence appearing real. The evidence is appearing real that you should try these things. You should try to live life because you only have one life to live. You have one life to live, why? Why, why not experience these experiences, the good and the bad, go places, you know, the be from the mountains of Kilimanjaro in Africa to, to, to the beautiful, beautiful many lakes of Minnesota, especially when I purify myself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Just why not just get that fear out of you and just go for it. Take mom's, take, take mom's, like, like take mom's belt, her take first. Papa's necktie. Anything. Okay, and and somebody spent somebody spent a couple things to. We gotta we gotta go, but I want to thank you so much for calling. I hope you call back. Namaste to you. Namaste. Fantastic. Now you know you there at the end you, you can tell he's sort of starting to really feel himself, and 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 I think that that is a a, a gorgeous expression of the universe. It's just that sometimes the universe starts you know. Let's move along a little bit. But, you know, I, I, I think that if you're, listen, if you're under the age of 18 and you don't clip what you just heard and memorize it and strap yourself to the bottom of a car with one of your parents' neckties or shredded blouse or maybe a long decorative belt or something like that and, and just strap yourself to the bottom of the car, then I don't know what, I don't know how... I don't know what else you need to hear. I don't know what else you need to hear. We're talking about sleeping outside or in a car tonight. Go ahead and if you'd like to participate in tonight's discussion, uh, go ahead and click on that link I just dropped into the chat. 